Yay! Well, let's get to today's Daily Dish. An Arkansas high school oh, yeah. student took a magical approach when designing her prom dress this year. This is Haley's coach, and she is a senior at Perry uh, Grove High School. A lover of art and the Harry Potter series, she made her dress out of two of its books. Look at that. It's amazing. Uh -huh. Haley says the idea came from being a fan and finding a comforting escape in the series during her parents' divorce. Mm -hmm. Haley and her mom made the dress in only four days. She wow. plans to use it in the future to inspire others to be creative and to encourage people to make wearable art. Our friend Emily Gartner would be so impressed with that. I mean, it really is dazzling. It really is. I, I really, it really is fantastic. I mean, it's, I, I guess you could say dazzling. I think it's fantastic. I will say that. I mean, uh, to be able to do that. Now, wait a minute. I wonder if she's got them like chapter by chapter. Could you read the dress from like top to bottom? And well, that's a fair question. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, a prom dress is not cheap. No, it's not. I mean, that's all. so she made her own, and I've seen duct tape ones, you know. But yeah, I right, think right, that, right. That was really clever use of the Harry Potter book. Oh, without a doubt, and it's like it's got some significance to her. It's yes. not just something, you know. It's I mean, meaningful. They're just throwing together or something like that to save money. Now that, we that, had paper dresses cool. back in my day, but you bought them. Did you? Oh yeah, they were awful, but we thought they were cool. <laughs> it was about the same time as go-go boots and all that stuff, kind of color block, and it felt like uh, it felt like really heavy paper towels. Not comfy. Not comfy. Not <laughs> kind of scratchy a little bit. Yeah, a little scratchy, but you know, it was cool. It was a thing, a paper dress. And well, it was cool for a little while until people realized this is not the thing. Yes. But it, at least they right. gave it a try, right? So you and can you say never you want to be around a bunch of people with matches. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad plan. No, if smoking cigarettes or anything like right. that, like they did back in the day all the time. Yeah. That's probably why those no, uh, that, They went out pretty fast, I would think. Well, we have all seen creepy <laughs> robots before, but this one might be just the uh, most terrifying. A Child-sized doll with haunting oh eyes my is helping train dentists in Japan. The doll is a humanoid robot and can mimic how children move around. The robot is controlled using a tablet. It can move its entire body, mouth, and tongue to display physical reactions. Screaming and biting is the first thing that comes uh, to mind. Uh, I know. That that is like Chucky come to life. Like That's the, me in the dentist chair right there. Well, is that, you no, know, me in the dentist chair is like I'm, 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 I'm trying to. I need to. I need to swallow. Spit. I need to spit and swallow. Uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's creepy. That's, that's kind of creepy. Is. Dolls are creepy on their own. I think a lot of them are, especially yes. when they act like you know humans like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just the utmost creepy. But you know, it, it helps the dentist to do a better job. Right. I'm all for it. Stay calm. Stay calm and carry on. <laughs> This is why people think robots are going to take over the world. They're going to look just like us. Uh, there might be robots walking among us. You I think? might be a robot right now. You there. could be. You <laughs> definitely could. I thought it was the invasion of the body snatchers. On <laughs> Hair braiding may be a skill many fathers may not know, but a woman in England is offering a class to help teach parents how to do hair. The classes include anything from how to do a basic ponytail with their okay. child to even a princess style updo. They've become so popular that even there's a wait list to join the class. And well, that's sweet. Are you serious? That's sweet. So they know how to do their daughters. I never had a daughter, so I don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, it's yeah. a, it's a. I mean, I never was very good at the braiding. The braiding thing. hair. Yeah, really? yeah, I could do a ponytail. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I could do a ponytail. I could also make an appointment at the beauty salon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go get there, the kid. Undo done, yeah. right? <laughs> let me let me turn you over <laughs> to the professional. Yeah, let darling. them do it. Right. Well, if, I think so. Now, if it's something simple, I get it. But if it's something more than simple, it's like, does anybody, especially a teenage girl, want to trust her dad to actually know how to do something? Well, like I think that? these are littler kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they Before don't care, that they happens. They don't care as much, yeah. Well.